You see that? I love that painting. No, but seriously, there's a gentleman, actually a couple of gentlemen, that one, basically both of them do, I believe. I believe so, mind you. War Paint Gamer. Dude's a paintballer that actually wears war paint and everything. Sadly, the fan mail unboxing that I unboxed that beautiful picture actually end up getting corrupt and for a very funny reason. So, first off, I want to get all the news and shit out of the way. Number one, I'd like to apologize to War, war Paint Gamer because, sorry, I know it seems like I gotta keep looking, but honestly, the War Paint looks beautiful. Like, it's got a different kind of feeling and honestly would strike kind of fear in my heart. If I actually came across that on the battlefield. But, um, honestly, though, um, a lot of my videos that I had on my phone, uh, recorded and ready to upload, they became corrupt. Um, so yeah, I had about a week's worth of videos pretty much take a shit on me on the stupid little J7 with the completely busted up screen. Uh, I will post I'll see if I can't post a picture later on of it to the community post line. But, uh, yeah, so I gotta invest in a new phone. I wanna talk about something for a moment. Now, I don't wanna be one of these stereotypical YouTubers who talk about YouTube burnout. Because, in reality, I'm not burnt out on YouTube. I honestly love what I do. It's just lately, I haven't felt inspired. I haven't felt that genuine push to really create something that I'm going to love and something I'm going to be proud to upload. And that's the honest truth. So, let me take a second to, again, since the uh, truth video, come out and be completely honest with you guys. I have been exhausted. And recently, some of you fans may know, and one of you guys definitely knows because you called my house phone and thank you actually that kind of made me feel a little better knowing that someone would go creepily out of the way to find my number just to call uh please don't go doing that oh shit and no, I just kind of jinxed myself because most of the time you do it anyhow but um I want to thank you guys for for those of you who have been here for a while I want to thank you for putting up with some of the shittier more lackluster content we've been putting out lately um, that's changing, and that is because I am ordering a couple of things that are special that, uh, are gonna be fun. They're gonna, I don't know, breathe new life into the channel. Yes, they're gonna be airsoft orientated, and I do plan on ordering lightsabers. Actually, I'm actually looking into ordering a crossguard, because not only did I get paid for last month's, uh, revenue from the ads, I know, not all my videos have ads, it's crazy. Mainly because I don't go through them all individually like I'm supposed to and add the ads. So, who knows, you know? You might be seeing this ad-free right now, which I'm planning on keeping it ad-free for good reasons. So again, for most of you, you may have known that I got suicidal and got really close to it a couple days back. And that lasted for, what, three days? You can ask Robert. He was so scared that I was asking you to do something that he stayed up uh, for two nights straight watching me to make sure. Robert, you're my bro. And I don't care how many people talk shit about you and make memes out of you, you are still my brother. Maybe not blood, but we are fucking brothers. Anyhow, I ordered Robert's, uh primary because we did create a team together. We also got another gentleman here who, not here, um, but we live in Atlanta, Georgia, actually, who is part of the team as well. And he is, I believe, a retired military personnel. I know he, he served in the military at some point. I can't. I'm sorry, Aaron. Sorry. Sorry, dude. I, it's been a mess. I've talked consistently with both you and Robert. Well, a couple of days. Anyhow, so there is a lot of stuff that's going to change here. Number one, 
are no longer going to focus on uploading daily, weekly, bi daily, bi week. I'm not, I'm not going to focus on that. Because for a while, I thought that's what I had to do. You know, I was at 100,000 subs and I figured, well, shit, I need to take myself more seriously like Market Player and them. But that's the thing. I didn't create this channel with the intent of being popular. I created this channel as a way to share my life and to share the good times and sometimes the bad. And I really don't like bringing up bad stuff here, but it's true. But I watched a documentary. Well, I've watched it on and off for a while now, but it's, I'll link it in the description so you guys will know which one. It may not be immediately after this is uploaded because I'd have to go, I'd have to go down to my laptop. Unless I can figure out a way to copy paste the link here on the phone, I'm going to have to try to get my laptop to work one more time for me so that I can get that link copy pasted. But in the documentary, it talks about some individuals who are in death row. And one of the gentlemen in there, he has an immaculate cell. And he just simply states, what else am I going to do? I messed up. I made a mistake. I'm in here serving my time. I might as well look like I have some pride in myself. And not trying to say I feel like I'm a prisoner or anything. It's more so the idea of I'm given the cards I'm dealt and only I can change them through my actions. Now, it doesn't seem like you could get that out of a seat like that, but to be completely honest, I got it out of that. I got the message. Don't fuck up. And don't be afraid to fuck up. Because you're going to. We all make mistakes at some point. And this might be a little bit longer of the video. But I want you guys to know I care. I had a really strong awakening today, and to be completely honest, I'm going to go back to uploading when I'm having fun. Because to be honest, besides the airsoft videos, the past few weeks hasn't been fun. There's been nothing to enjoy out of it. So. Starting as soon as I get this package that I'm about to order here in a minute. As soon as I get this, I get my little vest. I throw my hat on. There's going to be a fun double review coming out. And, uh... I'm going to give you guys a quick little hint. Music, not musically the site, but musically give you a hint with whistling. <coughs> Legit. I'm gonna have fun with this. And we're gonna get gameplay footage. And we're posting that shit. And, um, I don't know, I got lost going off and talking. And this video is a lot longer than I would have wanted it to be. I just wanted it to be a quick little update. And this just turned out to be a bit long of one. But I just, I don't know. I've had this realization. And. I want to be. Th I want to take a minute to think. Thank you, guys. Now I know some of you have said I'm gonna to try to get another shout out video set up because I do want to start doing that at least bi monthly. Not. Oh my fucking. I want to start doing this bi monthly once or, once every two months or so, where I do these bulk shout out videos for like five to ten minutes. I go through channels that you guys submit of yourself or of channels you think deserve a shout out. And I want to show them off. Now, granted, I'm going to make sure that there's no inappropriate. I'm going to do my best to make sure that there's no inappropriate stuff. Looking at maybe 
the most recent 8 to 10 videos, maybe, just to be safe. So please don't go prescribing gory channels, hateful channels, and shit like that. I want nothing but peace in this channel, man. But, um... Yeah, I want to start giving back to you guys. So, yeah. I'd like to get a backlog set up of just a bunch of channels to go through and check out. And maybe do five to ten of them each video, each time I do it. Because I do want to see the YouTube community grow and get better from its recent, well, we'll just say tarnishes on its good name. You know, the consistent demonetization of certain channels that don't uh, necessarily deserve it, but maybe more so age restraint. I can get the whole age restricting certain gun channels. Um, that's just, it's a natural thing. I'm perfectly fine with that. But stuff like, for me, people like Hickok45, by the way, huge fan if you watch my show, man. Huge fan. But, um, he'll talk about different firearms and the history and the accuracies and he'll even just sit there and plink around with them. He's not shooting anything live, he's just shooting plates. And steel animal shaped plates. And I believe he no, did he retire the gong? I don't know, it's been a few days since I've actually looked at some of his videos. Anyhow, dude's awesome. I don't know if he got demonetized, but I'm talking channels like that that you know they don't necessarily need to be demonetized because they're not glorifying the murder or anything, more so just the sport of shooting. <laughs> Take that however you like. But, um, yeah, I would really love to create this channel to be better. I've got to end this. I've got like three seconds left. Peace out, guys.